Glenn Greenwald, frequent guest on this program over the years, is exiting The Guardian, where you will recall he had a fairly unique relationship with The Guardian. Uh, it housed his, um, essentially his online column, his blog, I guess. I'm not even sure I would call it that, but um, his online column there, uh, and he was... He, partially funded by The Guardian, partially funded by himself. Uh, in the case of receiving the uh, Edward Snowden leaks, he did not provide them all to The Guardian. Uh, my understanding is that only he and uh, Laura Poitras, the only two individuals who had all of the documents, it has been announced that he is leaving The Guardian newspaper to join and it appears to set up a new media venture funded by the eBay founder Pierre Omidar, Omidyar. Uh, to people familiar with the, ma- uh, the matter, um, Omidyar's net worth is at $8.5 billion. So I imagine uh, they will not uh, be subject to the same technical difficulties that we have here occasionally on the majority report. Um, Omidyar's uh, Twitter account reflects a a deep concern regarding the uh, NSA spying. Um, Omidyar is involved in a lot of philanthropic and other and for-profit investments such as this. Uh, There are reports that Greenwald has, um, or that joining Greenwald will be Laura Poitras and Jeremy Scahill. It's unclear at this point. I've heard reports that the site may include things like sports and culture, that it may be sort of like a, some type of Huffington Post model. Uh, I believe um, that uh, after initially setting it up, Greenwald will be the uh, politics editor. So uh, more information to follow, but uh, that's all I've heard, and I'm, I'm only familiar with this through press reports. So uh, interesting development, and um, maybe someday uh, Glenn Gradwell will be considered a journalist by uh, those who had no problem with, um, with the government, uh, you know, uh, cracking down on his efforts. I'm speaking uh, to uh, fellow journalists.